All right, we're here with head coach Beverly Smith. We are back at Carolina Softball Stadium at Beckham Field. I uh, wanted to kind of catch everyone up with where we've been since we last talked. So the last time we talked, uh, we were playing March 11th uh, here against Winthrop. And then in the coming days, uh, obviously everything changed and our players got sent home quickly and we just got them back. What has this process been like for you um, emotionally going through the loss of a season and everything that's happened since then? Yeah, that's, it has been a while since we've been together, and uh, it's really unbelievable when you think about it. Um, it's disappointing that we didn't get to finish the 2020 season just because I think our team was poised to make a great run, and we didn't get to play that out. Uh, however, it's one of those, those times where you, you recognize, you'll know exactly where you were in that moment in time that we're really living through history, and our players are living through history with a pandemic and so uh, I, I think they will never forget uh, the conversation we had in the locker room and the seriousness of the issue uh, so it's definitely a, a point where we're living through history uh, it was interesting to navigate that and you go from being together every day to zoom calls and not seeing each other so I feel really fortunate that we're all back together now and that last week while we were still transitioning to obviously sending people home and, and figuring everything out with this pandemic, what were the conversations like uh, with the staff and with the team? What was it like around here? It was just a level of questions. I mean, you just it, it's so rare in our industry. We're so scheduled and systematic about things that here is something that's out of your control and you don't know the answers to it. So it was definitely uncharted territory and uh, you know, for me, it was the the missing element of having having the team and the daily interaction with the team that was so different. And you talked a little bit about the Zooms, but over the summer and as this has gone on, what has the communication been like for meeting as a staff, meeting as a team? What has that been like? What have some of the challenges been? And has there been new ways to communicate? Yeah, I think um, I think one of the things is, is learning that we can be virtual and, and and be efficient. Uh, we've kept our standard weekly staff meeting. It was just on Zoom every week, uh, but we tried to stay as scheduled and productive as we could be. I think our staff did a great job uh, continuing their growth mindset. Lots of clinics and uh, learning ourselves, personal learning, and I think for our team, uh, the same thing. We tried to do some programming just about um, with, with leadership, uh, with our culture. I think we took on some social justice issues and really dove into that after uh, George Floyd and that the awful um, summer we had from a social justice standpoint. So I, we did some programming with our team in regards to that as well. And what have what have some of those conversations been like with the team? Uh, I, th I think um, hopefully moving and people. I would say hopefully that conversations with the team have been educational and moving and uh, our team can be empathetic and and really better themselves um, so I think they were all all positive positive. and for a while there uh, with the loss of the season we're, we're waiting for good news and we're waiting for good news and finally we get the news that you know our seniors get an extra year and then it's the wonder okay are we gonna get all of our seniors back and then we get the good news that we get Kenzie back we get McKenzie we get Lauren and you get uh, obviously Kayla coming back as well. So you get the full senior class coming back. How exciting was that to know that we're going to get them another year here? Yeah, it's such it's such uh, dark times when the season, you know, was felt like it was taken away from us. Uh, you really felt for the seniors. And so when that news came out that uh, we could have, we call them COVID seniors now, that our COVID seniors um, had the opportunity to come back. Uh, the next factor in that is that South Carolina supported. Uh, them coming back financially and then um, that they all took the opportunity to come back um, so to feel like our whole team is intact with the addition of these freshmen uh, is an awesome feeling. You, you mentioned the administration um, welcoming them back and, and being willing to have them come back. How important was that to show that we were standing behind our student athletes like this? Well I, th I think that's um, how South Carolina treats their, our student athletes and it, it's all about the student athlete experience here and I think you've seen nationally that that's not the case everywhere it's just for some schools it's a financial uh, issue um, other schools decided 
uh, to move in different directions, but South Carolina is committed to our student athletes, and I think that was an example of, of our commitment. And as the summer went on, we continued to look for more reasons to celebrate, and we had one. We had your 10-year anniversary that we got to celebrate. Uh, what was that like getting to see a bunch of former players reaching out, uh, wishing you well wishes, and just getting to celebrate 10 years here? Well, first of all, thank you for that, because that was, again, another just positive feeling in, in, in during COVID times. Um, so I was really appreciative of that. And gosh, it does not feel like 10 years, I'm telling you. Outside of looking at the pictures of myself from 10 years ago and knowing that my alumni now have children are the only things that really make me think it has been 10 years. But just, uh, I felt a lot of pride, pride for the program and how much we've accomplished, um, pride for our student athletes and seeing what they've what they've gone on to do. I'm just really proud of all their successes. And actually that was one cool thing we did during COVID with our alumni. Um, we had a happy hour with each alumni class of mine over 10 years and those were a blast to catch up with everybody and see what they're doing. It was, those were some really fun Zoom calls. And of course, uh, some of the alumni reaching out were part of your coaching tree that you've built. How exciting is that to see in your 10 years that you have such an expansive coaching tree already that had tons of great things to say about you that they learned here under you? Yeah, that was honestly, that was really, that was very special. I think that's something as a coach, um, when you have players who go on to, to be in coaching, it's not just collegiate coaching. We've got players who own their own hitting facilities or running summer teams who are high school coaches. And I just think so much of what we do is impact others. And I'm so proud that we've got alumni who decided to join the profession. And another question I'm curious to see from you that I asked, uh, I asked outsiders looking in, especially from that first year, what is the biggest difference you see in the program from that first year to this year? And so for you, what are some differences you see in the program uh, from that first year to now? I think um, from year one to now year 10, and look around the stadium, you know, just walking up to, to Beckham Field, it's a completely different look and feel. Um, you know, we opened the stadium in 2013, which was my second season, and just to have uh, the, the top-notch facilities that we have here are spectacular. And then to look, and we just added the new video board last year, it, another example of our administration support of the softball program here. Uh, but outside of the facilities, I just think um, from year one to year 10, uh, the type of recruits we're able to attract, the talent level, and you know that goes back to all the players who were here, here before. I mean, they really laid the foundation for allowing us to uh, recruit and compete at a national level. And you talk about the facilities. I mean, how cool is it every day to get to come out here and you see this beautiful locker room and this beautiful stadium that in the spring has large crowds and you just open this new video board. I mean, how special a place is this? And it is, it's so special. And I pinch myself sometimes, honestly. Uh, our players were recruited to this stadium and, and, and they know what the locker room's like and the, the crowd on game day. And everything, we have everything here that a player needs to be successful. But um, I say it all the time, Columbia, Columbia is a special place. And moving ahead then, we had our new freshman class move in. A little different looking move in day this year with all of our, our COVID protocols, but we got them in safely with the mask and testing. What has that been like having this freshman class in here? Fantastic. This group has been waiting years to be here. They were a result of, of early recruiting. So they're really a very highly touted class, high talent, high character uh, athletes. And we have 10. So we could have a full on scrimmage freshmen versus returners if we wanted. But uh, a great group of freshmen. And I'm, I'm just thrilled they're here on campus. And wrapping it up here, Next week, you get to go out with individuals again. You get to work on the field with the players. What is that going to be like for you guys? That, that we can't wait, honestly, to they've spent the last two weeks conditioning, weightlifting, and we're just ready to get on the field and get the bats and balls going. But uh, it'll be exciting just to, to see the freshmen work out and be here. And I'm just I'm so excited to get on the field with them. And last question, overall, what's the game plan for this fall? What are you hoping to achieve out of this fall with this group? Well, it's going to be a different fall. Uh, we won't have outside competition this fall. So 
and truthfully, I'm excited about it. I think we've got a big roster. We'll be able to do inter squad scrimmages. So we've got we've got a seven game series scheduled for our our team, and I'm I'm really excited about seeing what our team can do against each other. Coach, thank you for your time. We're really happy to be back out here. Good, thank you.